Hi everyone and welcome back to Tokyo on Fire. Today is August 8, 2017. Cool Japan, what is it and why is it so important to the Japanese government to portray Japan in a certain way? Today I'm joined by Upper House member Ichita Yamamoto. He is a four-time member from Guma in the Upper House. Ichita, thank you very much for joining us. Well, thank you very much. Well, first of all, I really want to thank you for inviting me to this program. Well, Tim, to be frank with you, I'm a little bit nervous because I have to speak in English. My vocabulary is very much limited, but I decided not to worry about it. Thank you. Because even uh, the president of the United States, I mean, Donald Trump, used a word of milk people <laughs> instead of dairy, you know, farmers. So, <laughs> Listen, we went to Georgetown together. We sat mm -hmm. in the same class. Your English is fine. It's, thank God we're not using uh, Japanese as this, uh, in this program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are the chairman of the LDP committee that is in charge of kind of facilitating and defining what Cool Japan is. So mm -hmm. it's really great that you could join us today. Thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Well, uh, Japanese government, particularly the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, plans to create a hub of a Cool Japan strategy in three cities, mm -hmm. London, San Francisco, Sao Paulo, by the end of this year. And as you know, our Georgetown friend, Taro right. Kono, uh, one of my best friends, became the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And I, I think I'm very glad to hear that because Taro and I can collaborate. Right. Uh, I, I think in order to promote this cool Japan strategy, we really need to, to collaborate with uh, Japan House mm -hmm. in these three cities. So is this something like a, a trial effort? Let's pick three important cities to Japan. Let's create a house. Maybe a house is already existing there. Mm -hmm. Refurbish it. Pack it full of things that describe how cool Japan is, and just let tourists go in and and try and promote it, kind of a as a, a promotion package. Yes. Uh, well, the uh, Cool Japan Hub, as I mentioned, I mean uh, those headquarters in three cities haven't started yet. So we have to design function of these, you know. Uh, hubs. Right. But uh, one thing which we have to do is to, of course, publicize Cool Japan contents mm -hmm. in those three cities. Uh, as you see, uh, there are many fans of Japan contents in those three cities. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's uh, really easy for Japan, government of Japan, to, to publicize and promote Cool Japan contents right. in those three cities. Right. That's the reason why we decided to create the hub in those places. Cool Japan is so broad. It mm -hmm. consists of so many things from, from one end of the mm -hmm. spectrum, just manga or food culture, yes. all the way over to yes. innovation, mm -hmm. robotics, mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. I mean, it, it is, it's everything. And one of the things that's always struck me mm -hmm. is that the Japanese don't seem to be very good at promoting themselves yes. overseas mm -hmm. and even internally. Mm -hmm. they're, they're just, I don't know, somewhat reserved sometimes, mm -hmm. but also they don't know that it's cool these kinds of things. They have mm -hmm. to have somebody else tell them, that's really cool. What mm -hmm. you do is really mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. And then to, to market that, mm -hmm. it seems to be something that's um, missing some sort of mm -hmm. chemistry. I know what you mean. You know, the point is uh, something which we feel, you know, cool is uh, uh, many times different from uh, the contents which the people like you, I mean, foreign people feel cool. Right. So first of all, we have to find what the most you know, cool what's, what's that essence? Yes. What's that yes, yes. thing? Yeah. Ex exactly. And as you see, Cool Japan is a broad concept. Uh, you know, uh, our team, I, I'm now the, uh, currently the chairman of the special committee of the LDP promoting Cool Japan strategy. Uh, we have seven or eight uh, uh, task forces because we, we have to cover so many areas. One team, uh, for instance, aims at supporting a Japanese entertainment industry, such as manga, animation, and J-pop, and so forth. Mm -hmm. And also another group, for instance, focusing on creating human resource uh, to, to uh, take lead in Cool Japan contents and also promotion. And also, we are uh, very much interested in utilizing Cool Japan uh, strategy in order to... to, to uh, promote uh, diplomacy? Yeah, you know, promote local economy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. As you see, a very famous animation film, Kimi no Nawa, yes. your name, made a splash in Asian countries. And uh, this, the original story of this film took place in Gifu Prefecture. Uh, and, and now, a lot of 
you know, tourists from Asian nations go to yes, the site. Yes, go yeah. to the site. Right. So that's one example we can find, uh, you know, uh, interesting contents mm -hmm. in order to attract the attention from, you know, right. uh, uh, foreign people. Maybe promote tourism or, or and, and in fact, the tourism is going crazy here. Yes. You can't even go to Kyoto anymore mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. running into mm -hmm. more foreign mm -hmm. visitors than mm -hmm. you are to the people who actually yes. live in Kyoto. Well, in fact, I want to ask you, what is Cool Japan for you? Because mm -hmm. you are the one who, you know, worked for, for a Japanese parliamentarian, Nakayama Sensei. You right. are the first foreigner right. who worked for Japanese politician. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you, of course, you have known Japan in many ways for many years. What is cool for you? Well, obviously, Japanese politics is cool. That's why I started... You think Japanese politics I, is I cool? I really think Japanese politics mm -hmm. is cool. Mm -hmm. I think the history of Japan, the fact that the city of Tokyo is a castle city, yes. the, the remnants still remain, and they're mm -hmm. still a, a central feature mm -hmm. of Japanese mm -hmm. business here. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's incredibly cool. But mm -hmm. also the food culture, the safety. Yes. I raised four kids mm -hmm. here in, in Japan. Mm -hmm. Uh, the safety for that, just so many things are, it's not just cool Japan, mm -hmm. it's amazing Japan to me. I mean, mm -hmm. my, my life has been dedicated mm -hmm. to this place because it's just so crazy. Mm -hmm. I like the word, uh, you know, amazing Japan, because, you know, now uh, our team is trying to, to come up with a, a basic act of cool Japan strategy. Mm -hmm. You know, the word of cool Japan is somehow established right. in the Japanese politics, but I think it seems to me that the word cool Japan is obsolete. I, yeah, I should not say this. Passe. I should not say no, this. You're right. I'm, you're right. I'm, I'm the chairman of a special committee. For instance, it's Korea, overused. Yeah, yeah. Overused. Korea, the, so, so the the meaning of what it is is kind of dissipated. Mm -hmm. You're right. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. Because South Korea decided not to use cool Korea anymore. Instead, they are now using sparkling Korea. Okay. So you know, our team is also uh, you know looking for. Uh, uh, better word right. instead of cool Japan. Well, right. actually, the Koreans are doing a terrific job at mm -hmm. promoting themselves, aren't mm -hmm. they? I mean, mm -hmm. yes, K-pop yes, yes. and all of the artists there, exactly. they're very right. popular here. The, mm -hmm. the, uh, the television mm -hmm. dramas, mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're popular all throughout Asia. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, there's no doubt that a, a Korean strategy is the one which we have to learn, mm -hmm. of course. And um, you said that safety is also cool. Right. Yes. For you, because mm -hmm. Japan is uh, very safe comparing right. with other cities. Right. Yeah. And you, s you also mentioned that Japanese politics is cool, but how we should publicize mm -hmm. Japanese politics to outside? I, 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 I don't feel like, I don't feel that Japanese politics is cool. Well, what is, what makes you think that Japanese politics is cool? It's unique. It's, it's unique, but also the unavoidable fact is Japan is the second or third largest economy mm -hmm. in the world. Yes. And that can only happen when it's underpinned mm -hmm. by a political structure and mm -hmm. an economy that kind of supports that. So when you look just on, on one level, you see one thing, but if, if you're really interested and mm -hmm. intrigued by it, you go the next layer down, and this is what supports this, this economy, this fantastic economy, mm -hmm. even though it's suffered from 20 years of yes. kind of being down in the doldrums, mm -hmm. It's still a very strong, very vibrant economy. Mm -hmm. And you have to ask, why is that? How is, mm -hmm. how is that possible? How is it that the Japanese people are able to come together and create something even mm -hmm. under you know, the pressures of you know, their economy isn't so great, their paychecks aren't growing, mm -hmm. they're not able to buy very much, but mm -hmm. it's still a, I mean, it's a fabulous place to live. Mm -hmm. It's very kind of you. Yes. Yeah, yes, thank yeah. you. Uh, and the major purpose, I should say, objective of, of this special committee as you mentioned, is to, to contribute to the growth strategy of mm -hmm. Japan. I believe that, you know, cool Japan strategy can revitalize mm. Japanese economy. So as I told you, I'm always looking for, uh, you know, uh, cool Japan contents. Right. Uh, not only animation, but also something which can function as a cool Japan. Right. Well, do you have a, any thoughts besides safety sure. and also food? Well, Japanese food is no doubt the, the you know, uh, king of cool Japan contents. Mm -hmm. When I was a, a minister uh, in charge of IT and, uh, you know, uh, uh, science and technology, I've been to, uh, I went to uh, many places. You traveled up and yes, down. Yes, yes. Uh, 
the whole uh, archipelago. You know, from the US, Europe, and also to ASEAN nations, but everywhere I was told by those ministers whom I met, yes. you know, you know, they are always mentioning about Japanese food. Japanese yeah. food is very popular in our country. Yeah. So food is, of course, mm -hmm. no doubt, one of the best contents. Right. But is there any sure. other thoughts? Sure. One of the other things that's kind of uh, remarkable about Cool Japan and the initiative is that it's so serious mm -hmm. to the prime minister, and he's dedicated a lot of money yes. to this initiative. Mm -hmm. And one of the other very cool things about mm -hmm. the initiative is that they're investing in incubator funds, mm -hmm. in startups, yes. and in, in technology, mm -hmm. and developing this, this kind of model mm -hmm. that's very vibrant in Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. It's not very vibrant, except maybe in Shibuya Valley yes. or yes. In, in certain pockets mm -hmm. of, of Tokyo, mm -hmm. but elsewhere it's, it's not, and mm -hmm. it's not for, I think, structural reasons that can be addressed. Mm -hmm. But there are great ideas here. There are great scientists. There are great innovators and thinkers mm -hmm. who come up with great ideas too. Mm -hmm. It's just that the economy and the money isn't available. Mm -hmm. The big companies pr pretty much capture all of the good ideas and mm -hmm. bring them in-house. Mm -hmm. And so the, the younger people are kind of disenfranchised. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. You know, um, as I told you, uh, now we are somehow successful in inputting this concept of cool Japan to, to uh, Japanese government's policies mm -hmm. in many areas. And uh, we try to put the word in some of the very important governmental documents. Right. But, you know, uh, I really hope that Prime Minister focus more on cool Japan strategy. Uh, as, as, you, as you mentioned, I mean, I think we can utilize this strategy much more effectively so mm -hmm. that we can, for instance, you know, create a new industry and so forth. You know, there are so many things when you get into a situation like Japan is in, or even people or, or companies, mm -hmm. that there are a lot of things that are just laying down right at your fingertips that you don't think about. Mm -hmm. And the reason I, I mention this is because over the weekend, there were so many bon odori dances mm -hmm. that used to be um, very popular, and then they just kind of went away and mm -hmm. people didn't do them. And there mm -hmm. was a big one in Shibuya. Mm -hmm. There was a big one in, in uh, Jiugaoka. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when I first came here, I was in Akita and then I was in Sendai. Yes. And this was a big part of the mm -hmm. culture there. Mm -hmm. And they closed off the roads in Shibuya. Yes. And they had a huge um, festival and, mm -hmm. and everybody got dressed up in mm -hmm. Yukata. Mm -hmm. Even though they didn't know how to dance. Yes. But what a great thing. What a great thing about Japanese culture, the bono dori. It's a very mm -hmm. simple thing. Mm -hmm. Kind of crazy, a little bit wacky maybe. Mm -hmm. But it works. Mm -hmm. And if we can do this every year until the Olympics and then the Olympics come and we also have this festival mm -hmm. where everybody in the city is also participupating and feeling at one with the, the, the mm -hmm. people who are running the city or living okay. in the city, mm -hmm. what a wonderful thing. And I don't know, mm -hmm. you know, what mm -hmm. other cities can, can achieve that. Mm -hmm. Well, I, my, I, we, we, we will study about the possibility of a bon odori. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you very much for your proposal. Yeah, I thought it was a great I, idea. Yeah, but so what, I just want to know, what makes you so interested in bon odori? From, from the eyes of foreigner. Um, because you know, this kind of festival, you know, you can see everywhere. Right, right. I think one of the great things about it is that for people who come to Japan and they visit, or maybe they've lived here a couple of years, mm -hmm. there's something about being Japanese that you belong to a community and the community is packed into mm -hmm. your, your psyche and, and yes. your, your philosophy. Mm -hmm. And for most foreigners, we don't have that. Mm -hmm. And so not only can you observe it, but can, you can also participate in mm -hmm. it. And I think that's, a, that's an opportunity that, that is very, very rare. You can, mm -hmm. you can achieve that also mm -hmm. in the hot springs, in the mm -hmm. baths, mm -hmm. but m most people do it just as a curiosity, not as a, a lifestyle mm -hmm. or something they're doing all the time. Mm -hmm. But in this country, there are so many things like that that mm -hmm. are just really representative of what the Japanese spirit is and why Japan is just so amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting. Well, another thing which I like to ask you is that, you know, we also have to uh, think that, you know, if the Japanese system uh, can be cool or not. Uh, for instance, a good friend of mine, Dr. Takemi, he's a, a member of the House of Counselors. He wrote an article several years ago uh, in, in the magazine called Lancet, which is a very famous magazine in, 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 in England dealing with uh, uh, medical issue. Mm -hmm. He introduced the system of Japanese uh, health insurance covering all the people, what is called in Japanese, uh, kokumin kaihoken. Right. Uh, and I, I found out that 
you know, Japan is a rare country which can have this type of, you know, uh, national health care. National health care. Right. Well, you know, because the size of the country is very much, size of the country is very much different from Norway, Sweden, and those uh, uh, Scandinavian country. Uh, the country like Japan, which has this size of population, uh, you know, we were very much successful in, in, in introducing this type of uh, health insurance system. How, you, how do you think about it? Most people who are here as a temporary visitor mm -hmm. or people who have lived here as a mm -hmm. graduate student mm -hmm. and gone back, they don't really appreciate how great that is. Part of the money to pay for that comes out of your, mm -hmm. your, your salary and then your employer mm -hmm. typically pays part of it too. Mm -hmm. So that means that you are employed, you're fully employed. So not all of the foreigners that mm -hmm. come here for that period of time mm -hmm. are fully employed, so they don't fully enjoy what the benefits are. Mm -hmm. Plus, you have to be here long enough to kind of have a tooth pulled out or have a, uh, something happen with your leg, yes. where, you, mm -hmm. where you see mm -hmm. the beauty of this and how easy it is mm -hmm. and how inexpensive. So mm -hmm. I think it, that, that part of it is missed on, on a lot of people who are even you know three, four year mm -hmm. term visitors. Mm -hmm. But it is one of the, the greatest features of, of living in Japan, mm -hmm. national health. Mm -hmm. Well, another thing which I'd like to ask you is that, it's, it sounds stupid, but uh, for me, one of the cool Japan is that, you know, Japan, Japanese people look younger than their real age. I'm 59, yes. but maybe look younger than those Americans who are 59, and also Japanese women, and well, I should say Asian women, I should not, I don't know, but comparing with uh, maybe Americans and European people, Asian people look, you know, younger. Right. But if you take a look at the uh, uh, physical condition of each human being, it seems to me that Japanese people are young mm -hmm. in many ways. Yeah. I don't know why, because of yeah. food or because of culture, I don't know. But this is one thing which uh, we can maybe uh, publicize, mm -hmm. the long life expectancy. Right. Yes. Yeah, I, I think that's an interesting feature. I don't know how well that translates to mm -hmm. other people. I mean, other people who are sitting eating potato chips, watching this video or, or thinking about coming to Japan, it doesn't really influence them mm -hmm. to want to come to Japan because mm -hmm. it doesn't mean they're going to get skinny or, that's or right. look okay. younger, right? <laughs> yes. But, you know, one of the, the great things about, mm -hmm. about living in this country, as, as you kind of mentioned, is um, the women mm -hmm. in Japan, mm -hmm. the level of fashion mm -hmm. and fashion sense mm -hmm. and the, 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 the makeup and the hair and, and the jewelry and everything that's packaged so well. Mm -hmm. You know, in Tokyo, um, my, my comments are mostly in Tokyo or the big cities, Osaka mm -hmm. and Fukuoka. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think throughout Japan, this, this kind of brand, this, mm -hmm. this level of, of, of sophistication, yes. it's, mm -hmm. it's just really um, something special. Mm -hmm. Well, the other day, a group of uh, people came from the US to Japan venture capitalists right. and also uh, CEO of, of you know, Silicon Valley, Valley, Silicon firms, Valley right. yeah, company. Maybe six or seven people came to Japan. Their uh, purpose was to, to uh, you know, just check Japanese design. They're very much interested in, in, in design. Mm -hmm. So this is also another uh, maybe uh, contents or a uh, field right. that we should promote mm -hmm. more to the world. Yeah, right. one of the great things about Japan, and everybody knows this, so it's, it's almost ubiquitous, but you go to a Japanese building and they're almost universally barrier free. Mm -hmm. And you walk to an intersection and there are the bumps on the, the cornerstones that even if you can't see if you're blind and you, you can tell with your feet that mm -hmm. you're nearing the intersection or the audible Mm -hmm. with the, the lights, the traffic yes. lights. Mm -hmm. Everything is so well integrated, mm -hmm. even for handicapped people. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't like that 15, 20 years mm -hmm. ago, mm -hmm. but now it's all pretty much integrated. And that's a, you know, a pretty neat mm -hmm. feature of, mm -hmm. of you know, just street life in mm -hmm. Japan. You know, tim -san, it was quite unfortunate that uh, uh, Minister Inada had to resign. And uh, 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 Minister of, of Defense was a, uh, was a second experience for Inada-san mm -hmm. to work as a as a minister, uh, he, you know, uh, Inanda-san and I entered Abe cabinet uh, four years ago. In those days, he was in charge, she was in charge of uh, administrative reform mm -hmm. and also cool Japan. I really wanted to 
take in charge of cool Japan. I should have told Prime Minister. At that time? Yes, yes, because I have seen all kinds of animation and manga. And uh, I, even now, every day, I, I do sleep four hours and uh -huh. I spend so much time to, to look for, uh, how to say, Czech Japanese contents. Uh -huh. In those days, I just met the Prime Minister and just told him, why don't you announce, uh, may make announcement of Japanese contents? He, I really wanted him to announce that Japan is, Japan aims at big power of contents. Mm -hmm. You mentioned about the example of cool Korea. In 1990s, South Korea met, uh, faced a very serious financial crisis and uh, everything was up and down and and uh, after this uh, well, in those days uh, Prime Minister Kim Dae-jun uh, decided to create new Korea uh, which focuses on contents and internet. He's trying to crank the economy? Yes that's yeah. right that's right yeah. and th that's the beginning of uh, cool Korea strategy and uh, Prime Minister Kim Dae-jun in those days made an announcement that South Korea will become the big power of culture, Bunka Taikoku. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted him to, you know, make an announcement that Japan also should aim uh, at becoming, uh, you know, a uh, content uh, superpower. Okay. Well, that sounds like a, a very hard soundbite to get the prime minister mm -hmm. to say. I mean, there's mm -hmm. a lot contained in that. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, he's already uh, expressed his interest and his his commitment yes. to, to cool Japan, mm -hmm. whatever that might mean. Mm -hmm. Probably it's, it's a good time to spend a lot of effort into what that means, yes, right? Yes. What, the, what, it, what this entails. Mm -hmm. But he's committed to it. He's put a lot of money into it. The angel investors are coming mm -hmm. into Japan mm -hmm. to look at the technology yes, that's yes. here. And also angel investors are beginning mm -hmm. to be created mm -hmm. here as well. Mm -hmm. You know, when you talk about talking with the prime minister, you're in the same faction mm -hmm. that he's in, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. As was your father, mm -hmm. as was mm -hmm. my boss when mm -hmm. I worked mm -hmm. there. And Mr. Nakasone mm -hmm. is, um, he was the prime minister yes. th during that mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. um, and his son now is uh, the counter opposite, there are two seats in, in your prefecture. Yes. His son is holding the other seat, right? Uh -huh. So every, every mm -hmm. um, election cycle, mm -hmm. he goes up for election and then mm -hmm. three years later you go mm -hmm. up for election. Mm -hmm. And um, if you have something to say to the Prime Minister, you, you have a direct connection, don't you? Well, I am working as a special advisor to, to not Prime Minister, but uh, uh, head of LDP, which is Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. And I'm still in that position. So because he's now, you know, he, he's, he's facing a difficulty, uh, supporting ladies dropping. So I'm going to come up with a new, you know, group uh, I ask some of the young parliamentarians to join, so we will come up with a new group mm -hmm. uh, of, you know, uh, uh, internet advisor to, to prime minister. You know, yeah. um, here on Tokyo on Fire, we talk about the prime mm -hmm. minister a lot. We talk about his his mm -hmm. um, approval ratings. Yes. You have a program too. It's called Cafe Star. Yes. You run it every week, mm -hmm. and it's Chokako Stream. Yes, right, it's right. it's fabulous, mm -hmm. and you do kind of the same thing mm -hmm. that we do, but you mm -hmm. talk about. I mean, you have just the most amazing guests. Mm -hmm. You speak in Japanese about really critical issues. It's fun and it's entertaining and it's very, very yes. informative. Mm -hmm. So this idea about the, the, the prime minister and what mm -hmm. his standing is, I'm actually very hopeful mm -hmm. and um, positive that he's gonna be able to crank this thing up. Mm -hmm. He's done this before. Mm -hmm. He's got a great cabinet mm -hmm. team now. Mm -hmm. And with people like you backing mm -hmm. him up, I, mm -hmm. I can't see where he mm -hmm. would go wrong. Well, thank you very much. Well, Tim, I want to ask you, I just want to ask your thoughts. What, what do you think about it? I think, you know, it is a time for prime minister to put more focus on internet strategy. Well, many people, you know, uh, are talking about, uh, uh, you know, President Trump, his way to use Twitter. Twitter and, right. Of course, you know, uh, some people are criticizing how, you know, he, he, he's, he's used his Twitter, but this is, in my opinion, maybe only hope for prime minister because he, you know, he can appeal to the mass uh, through his own media. Mm -hmm. I really hope that uh, Japanese LDP also, uh, as well as prime minister, uh, recognize that 
uh, they should put more focus on internet media, like this program and right. Twitter. Uh, you know, uh, because at this moment, everything is uh, going through the filter of uh, your, uh, existing media. Right. But if he starts, you know, uh, talking about, you know, uh, his own words, he's talking in his own words, uh, for instance, through Twitter mm -hmm. and some other SNS, that message can, you know, directly right. go to the people. Right. So I am going to meet Prime Minister soon. So I am going to ask him to use, utilize our team mm -hmm. much more effectively, and, and, you know, this team. So uh, um, I think now this, this is a time for, you know, Japanese government, I should say Prime Minister, to recognize the importance of, uh, you know, talking right. through internet. Uh, uh, through, uh, you know, SNS, uh, not only Facebook, but also Twitter, mm -hmm. also this kind of program, and also in my program. Well, my program called Chokkaku Stream, we, I have uh, uh, invited almost all the ministers, including Prime Minister. Prime, Prime Minister appeared uh, four or five times in my program. And, uh, you know, in, in that sense, uh, I mean, I, I'm not going to ask you to support the prime minister, but as I told, uh, as you mentioned, there are many things that we have to learn each other. Right. I'm very much interested in this program. Mm -hmm. This is a maybe only program in Japan, uh, which you know uh, can talk about Japanese politics That's in right. English. That's right. So I very much appreciate you. Tim. Thank you. Yeah, as a, as a, as a Japanese politician. <laughs> so I really hope that you can also. Uh, you know, come to my program as a guest. Thank you very much. Yeah. The only thing I might say about your idea about having the prime minister speak through social media is be careful what you wish for mm -hmm. because you might get it. Yes. And now, you know, the horse is out of the mm -hmm. corral mm -hmm. and, and you can't manage that, you can't control that. Sure. But I think the media nowadays is different. It's mm -hmm. a different world. Mm -hmm. And typically Japanese politics is a little bit slow to catch up. Yes. The legal field is a little bit slow to catch mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Uh, recently, the medical field is, is changing and yes. it's more rapid, yes. mm -hmm. but there are certain pockets of, of mm -hmm. Japanese society mm -hmm. that are, are slow to change. Mm -hmm. But this is a new reality. Yes. This program is a part mm -hmm. of the new reality. Mm -hmm. Yours is too. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, information is, is basically free mm -hmm. and much more honest. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much. Cool Japan. It is one of the things that the Japanese government is focusing on to expand its broad image of what it is to be Japanese and why it's cool to be in Japan and earn money here. Please stay tuned.